I'm at Walmart doing some retail arbitrage and I filled my cart with this strange toy. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make money. Uh, been to Lowe's. I also picked up 45 of another item. Uh, I got like 60 some of these. I just, I really don't want to buy them, but I think I will. Hey, what is up everybody? It is Wick here. Feels like I haven't made a vlog in forever because I've, I've been in Chicago for a few days. Uh, it's now Monday again. It's time for the grind. Got some eBay sales last night. Uh, pretty good. Five sales. Uh, some pretty good ones. Today's plan is just to go to Goodwill, Salvation Army. I got an FBA box I want to drop off, so I'll hit the Goodwill in another city. And uh, we'll just try to find some stuff, get back in the groove. I have to take my car and drop it off to have some body work done. It's supposed to give me a loaner car, so <laughs> we'll see what car that is hopefully it's not too sucky um i wanted to do more fba stuff this week but it, apparently it's going to take five days for this car to get fixed so i'm going to have to probably just wait um, try to fit a bunch of boxes in a random car and do all that plus i don't want to drive it too much because i don't like driving other people's cars i'll probably also hit uh maybe lowe's and walmart see if there's anything there while i'm out why not so my Ikea bag filled with goodies. I sold a mouse for $100, a Diablo 3 mouse. Um, if the Matlock DVDs I picked up at a church sale not too long ago. Got $40 for them. I think I underpriced them because they sold really quick. And then what else? I don't even remember what else. There's another good... Oh, I sold some uh, some shoes for $60. So, um, yeah, bread butter items. Good sales, but I'm going to go drop this off, drop the car off, and we're going to seize the day. I am now in my second Goodwill of the day. I've also been to Salvation Army and have not found anything, so I'm hoping to find something in this one. Here is a QL700 Brother Thermal Printer, uh, $14.99 used. I looked this thing up, and the comps just aren't that good. It sells for around $40 max. And it's just something I don't want to deal with and test. Here's a Garmin heart rate monitor, but it says just a strap on the box, so that's not worth it. Uh, one of those light repair guns there, I usually buy those and sell them around Christmas, really easy. But um, that one is missing some of the lights in it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's been used or what. Here is a pure uh, water filtration thing. I see it's open, I lose interest. You don't really want to sell those used because it gets mold and stuff in there and you can't really tell uh, some dinosaurs um, no Jurassic World I'm checking uh, check for the JW or the JP for Jurassic Park or even some of the other brands like Safari or Carnegie and uh, this back of Mario's they're all the same Mario it's kind of weird it was $1.99 I considered it for a moment and I'm like there's no way that can be worth my time so I just put it back I see the Star Wars uh, toy here for seven bucks I think it I thought it was a puzzle then I see oh it's a dartboard it's been opened I really don't want to mess with it there's one of the creator Lego like board games uh, they want $6.99 for it which in this goodwill for Legos it's a good price uh, they usually price them high there's one of those mazes that you try to get the ball through by moving it uh, I decided to put that down because if you start messing with one of those toys uh, you'll spend hours uh, trying to beat it uh, some tennis rackets, racquetball, all that kind of stuff. I meant to go back and look at those uh, when I was done filming and completely forgot about it. So on the top shelf here, I spot a sealed puzzle. So I grab that and take a look at it and um, notice another one as well. So it looked like it was in really good condition. Uh, no damaged corners, torn shrink wrap. It was only $2.99. Uh, so I ended up looking these up and decided to pick those up. Um, not a bad price for $2.99. Over here, uh, most Goodwills have these just random everything thrown on the shelf. And uh, I always like to dig through these to see if I can find any uh, calculators or ink cartridges. One time I found a cover that you put over a cast to make it waterproof. I sold that for like $40. So you really don't know what you're going to find. Um, so I always try to dig through it. Of course, I... Put the cam when I put the camera away, I as when I dug dug through it. This is just kind of me just glancing over it. Fortunately, I didn't find anything in this aisle. 
So I decided to go take a look at the clothing to see if I could find anything. And I spot this Yamaha jacket here. I thought it was pretty nice looking. And it was only the, the price of a jacket. They didn't have it marked up, which was shocking. So it was $6.99. Now, I didn't pick it up. The comps didn't look that great on it. I'm just curious if any of the uh, more seasoned clothing resellers would have picked that up. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would have picked it up. It's a pretty nice jacket. Uh, I just decided I don't sell enough clothing to deal with it. So here I am in my lunar car. Uh, this is a Honda Accord. It's not a bad car. Uh, it's pretty ugly on the outside, I guess. But anyway, it'll do. It'll get me. Uh, it'll keep me moving at least uh, somewhat until I get the soul back. But got out of Goodwills. Let me show you what I got here. Um, plug and plays. We all know plug and plays. This is an Amco one. It was two ninety nine. We just sell at $20, $25. They typically sell pretty well. Um, I actually have t like 10 different plug and plays I need to test. So I'm going to have to just sit down and test them all one day and list them all. Maybe I'll, I'll pair up a couple, you know, do like a lot of two or something. I don't know how many people's doing that. But anyway, yeah, it's just bread and butter stuff to make some money. You see, I got the two puzzles. I think you've seen these probably in the live footage I was recording if it turned out okay. Uh, it's two ninety nine. It's a nice puzzle. It's on Amazon, but the rank's like over $3 million. But it is priced at like $60 on there, so it's just overpriced. Uh, I typically save puzzles like this till around Christmas time because people buy these as gifts and they sell better. And of course, I won't, I'll price it low, so it'll actually sell. And it'll be FBA, so that will help the sales. So um, again, kind of a bread and butter type item. I'll probably still list at about 30 bucks. Um, it'll probably sell. This puzzle had um, quite a bit better rank, uh, two million. So I got a whole million better. Um, this was priced at like 50 some dollars as well. So for 2.99, they're they're both in really good condition. I'll go ahead and I will just like like I said, sell them um, during gift season. And then I seen this. This was laying in the toys. This is a Franklin dictionary um let's see there's the model number if you can see that it's a dollar 99 uh these sell for about 30 bucks used on amazon so um might end up selling on ebay it just depends but a uh, new happened to find one that'd be like 150 bucks um i guess something about downloadable content you can use these for it's in really good condition so i expect it to work uh, for a dollar 99 i'm gonna make some money but I think I'm going, I might go on a walk. I think it's supposed to rain though, so maybe I'll make sure there's no thunderstorms. I'll go home, eat some curry, and then probably try to list some on eBay since i not really doing any Amazon since uh, I have this car. I don't want to try to fit a bunch of boxes in there. I don't think they'd fit too well. Some of the boxes are like bigger than the back seat in the trunk, so not being able to fold down this. I don't think they fold down. Maybe those seats do, I'll have to check. Anyway, um, Gotta go home, get some work done. Thought I was gonna have to throw down with some geese there, hissing at me, protecting their young and stuff. I am back home. I'll show you what I got here in Walmart. And I stopped in Lowe's, and actually, I think I, I think I did pretty good on what I found. Now, these things I got in Walmart, I bought them all. They were 75 cents a piece, and um, I think they were normally five bucks. They are lost kitties. Who's hiding inside? It's one of those gambling toys where you don't know which one you're gonna get. And you want all 36 of them, so kids just keep dumping $5. And they end up getting the same lost kitty three times in a row because they have bad luck in life. And they just kind of waste their money. But, um, yeah, I, I got 65 of these, I think it was. And um, <laughs> I'm probably just going to make lots of them, like uh, lots of four. Or, ooh, that's kind of about ready to fall over. Let's kind of do that. Maybe like lots of four, lots of two. We'll see. There's two or three different kinds in here, I noticed. They all have the same UPC. But there's a Series 2. Um, that's the only one that says Series 2, and the others 
are slightly different. So I really don't know. I looked up comps, and it looked like some of them were selling, but they don't look like they're selling great. So this is something that will probably be sitting forever. Maybe next Christmas um, I can sell them all. I don't know. I kind of wish I wouldn't have bought them. Um, you can look up the comps, do a search on law. Honestly, I, I've seen some of the figures open were selling for like 15 bucks. So maybe I should just open them all and try to find the rare ones. I don't know how they're going to be sold yet. But I do think if I sell them all and I just make like two bucks. Well, I estimated when I bought them, I'd make $2.50 a piece profit on them if I was lotting them up, which would be over $200 profit. But, you know, here they are. I have them now. I'm a proud owner of 65 cartons of Lost Kitties. Over here, I think this Lowe's pickup was a bit better. I got 55 of these Loctite, Poxy. Um, these were, I think, like 5 bucks too, normally. And they were $0.50 cents a piece. So I bought 55 of them. And uh, i seen on eBay, it looks like lots of 10 were selling for like 48 bucks. Um, which my cost is only $5 in 10 of them. So that's pretty good. They're really light. Um, I, honestly, I think like here's some boxes that I got. And uh, I think that will ship first class. Like they're really light. So maybe I'll do some six packs for like 25 bucks, and then some 10 packs for like 40 bucks, something like that. But in the end, I think I'm going to make probably over two hundred dollars there so i could potentially make around 200 or 400 to 500 dollars depending on how well this stuff sells obviously it doesn't sell overnight when you have this kind of quantity but over the next year i'll trickle sales in from this stuff and in the end you know i make some money so <laughs> let me know in the comments if you would have bought these uh lost kitties honestly walmart's clearancing these out everywhere so i'm sure the price is going to tank ridiculous. They're probably not that popular. I may just be stuck with them. At $0.75 cents a piece, I still think I can get my money back. But not the best retail arbitrage deal out there. But hey, I picked them up. So I sat down to edit this vlog and realized that I did not close it out. I just forgot to say, hey, everybody, thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.